Hey, welcome to Show and Tell from the Symposium floor. Today I'm here with Jeff Becker from Nina Enterprises. And we're going to talk a little bit about what Nina's doing here at the show as well as what's going on in general. Yeah, absolutely. Tell me about it. Yeah, so Nina is a 151-year-old company. Wow. Um, actually started casting iron in 1872. So we're, we're pretty good at what we do at this point. Um, but we have three domestic foundries uh, within the U.S., eight different molding lines, um, casting airport products, um, and our, our flagship in Nina, Wisconsin. So, yeah. So I wouldn't think of a company that's 150 years old to be high tech, but what you do is actually has a lot of technology integrated. Oh, absolutely, yeah. It, it takes a lot to make a, a casting. A lot of people don't realize the actual engineering that goes in behind it um, to make sure that it's going to actually satisfy our customers' and users' needs in the airport facilities. It's, it's, it's a lot. So, Tell me about some of the things that you create for airports. Yeah, so some of our newer products are very innovative. Um, we partner with a company called Asa Abloy. Um, they're a leader in, in infrastructure um, locks throughout the world. Um, and we have a product that's very, very high security. So anywhere there's critical infrastructure, um, we can actually protect that um, better than any other company out there. So. Interesting. And, and is that what sets you apart from your competitors in this market? Are there a lot of competitors? Um, there aren't any more a lot of competitors in the U.S. Um, most of the iron that goes on airports is domestic, um, and there's three main foundries, infrastructure foundries, that can still make that iron in the U.S. Um, we've we've kind of seen our industry dwindle quite a bit. Um, different regulations that have come out by the EPA and other things that have really limited what foundries can do. Right. So what are you doing to adapt? What's new? Um, a lot. <laughs> we, we've gone through a lot. This last year we actually got purchased by a company called Charlotte Pipe, uh, right. and we are doing a lot to our main foundries to get them not only cleaner, more sustainable, but utilizing more post-consumer uh, recycled content. Um, our castings are very, very sustainable to where even after a building or a roadway goes out of service, we can take our product and remelt it and turn it into something new. That's very valuable now. More and more airports are looking at sustainability as a, as a key factor in their plans for the future. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I mean, it fits right in. Yeah, green infrastructure, sustainability. Yeah. I never would have thought of that. You know, so is that kind of a new message that you're working on? It is, yeah. We're trying to make sure people understand that um, just because it's cast iron, um, it can still help out with different things like lead points on, on federal buildings. Um, it can help out with just being cleaner in general, being greener. So Way more than just cast iron cooking pan. Exactly, yep, yep. yep. Awesome. Um, are there any trends that you're seeing that people should know about? Yeah, talking about sustainability, um, very, very big push right now. Um, we've seen a lot on the water side for stormwater uh, pollution. Uh -huh. um, people are actually now capturing that water and treating it on site rather than conveying it off to a wastewater plant or a treatment plant, um, whereas the earth is a great filter anyways. There's no need for that. So the structures that are going underground can be a lot smaller, don't have to be as dynamic. Um, so we've seen a lot to do with, with green and just getting um, stormwater pollution taken care of. So. Yeah. Thanks so much for giving us the lowdown. Yeah, Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you.